Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen Catherine's Reefs. So happy to have you. Welcome all my new subscribers. Welcome my crafty family. So today we're going to do a 4th of July centerpiece. And I got this, my husband got it for me a couple months ago, but you can get this from Hobby Lobby because I've seen it there. And we're going to use a 10 inch frame. Also, I got this plaid red, white, and blue. And it comes from Craft Outlet, okay? It's a 10 inch roll mesh, 10 by 10 by 10. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera down and we are gonna get started. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So I figured I'd make something that we can use for um, like, a lot of people do family reunions on the 4th of July. We have our picnics, our grill outs. We have people coming over our house. So I figured I'd do a nice cute centerpiece that you can put on your table outside or you can put it inside or you can put it at a, uh, a grill out, picnic, whatever. Something nice and cute um, for all your guests. So we're going to get started. Okay, so I do have a bunch of decor. I don't know what we're going to use yet. As you can see on my table, I have flowers. I have... Um, some foamies. I have all kinds of stuff. So I never know how it's going to go until after we do it. Also, we after this, we will be doing a... I got this bluebird from Dollar General. So I figured it's really, really cute. It's cheap. It's $4.50. I figured I'd do something really cute with this too, so that'll be after the centerpiece. Right. She you know, we are in spring, almost summer, so I wanted to do something that we all can enjoy. So you're going to take your 10 inch, 10 yards, and I'm going to, I cut about 20 pieces. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Don't think I am. I'll let you know. And I use, as you know, we use the zip snip or the skill, and I'm going to do 10 by 10. All right, I use a power rotary cutter, which is just like a rotary cutter, but it's a power operated cutter and a self sharpener. So it's better for your lungs. That's why I use it. A lot of people use the wood burner. I do too, but I. I get sick real easy, so I tend to use this more. Alrighty, so 10 by 10. You can get your skill power cutter from Works. Um, you can get it from Walmart.com, Amazon.com, eBay, um, Home Depot.com runs between 30 and 35 dollars okay and it's charged for about 12 hours of use i have a skill that i use as well it's about 18 hours charge after each use you do want to clean the blade with a clean paint brush behind and on front every couple months you need to take off the blade and clean behind it and get all the uh, material out because it'll become rickety all right skill you can buy on skill.com and you can buy it at walmart.com amazon they have a new one out it is a power screwdriver with cutter attachment it works just the same it's a little less pricier than that one it's about 38 dollars instead of 60 80 bucks so i to give you guys options everybody options all righty so I was showing everybody how to do the curly method like we did on our fancy cowgirl rodeo wreath. So that is the method we are going to use for our centerpiece. So like I said, I got a 10 by 10, 10 inch work frame. It's a little high. It's not flat. And you can get that from craftoutlet.com. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do like your little ruffle technique but this is a little different 
I go under the bar. It's more of a curly cue technique. I go under the bar. Over the bar. I take the two pieces together. They're in the crisscross shape. And this is going to make it curly and poofy. Take a zip tie, I go around the bar, around the mesh, flat side in, always flat side in. This is not going to take much, so you're probably not even going to need 20 pieces, just so you know. It's not going to take much to make this. So as you know, I like to play with around. It's curly, it's cute, it's adorable. And take another piece. Now you can do the curly method all the way through it and go underneath it and over it. But you don't need to because this all fluffs right out Go around the bar. on the top, then you're going to use two. A little bit different than the we did the other day. Remember, every mesh is different. We used a lace type mesh on the Rodeo Cowgirl wreath, and it looked just like lace. It was beautiful. So if you haven't seen that, I would tell everyone to watch it. It's a new fabric from Fuzzy Fabrics. It's called the Eyelash Mesh. We will be using that on our birdie. So it, tear, it turned out gorgeous. So again, one under. One over. Around the bar, around the mesh, just secure it on with your zip tie. And it's going to be poofy. That's the whole point. another one. I'm just going to place it right here, going the opposite way, going up. I'm going to fill this in and make it as ruffled as you can. So play with the mesh. You're curling it up. pretty that is. It's beautiful. Yes, you do put protective on this one too. And take it right here. And the third one, all you're doing is filling in because you're only using one roll of mesh for this and you can add ribbon and spruce this up and make it really cute. So you don't want to do that. There we go. Round the 
on the bar, flat side in. does not have a lot of fray you will get a little piece here and there and we always use our protectant always so after you're done you're going to spray this look how cute really really cute like i said it does not take a lot of material to make this so this is nice and fun this will be super cute there we go under the bar. You can get the rocks from Dollar Tree and Dollar General. Two little bow ties over each other. Really, really cute. Around the bar, around your mesh. Bottom bar, around the two pieces. Start to fill it in. Second bar. nice and pretty and it's gorgeous it's not a bunch method this is a curly type method um, some of my subscribed subscribers call it Carmen's curly cue method so they named it it was really cute thank you Berto it was a really cute name okay See how pretty that is? Nice, pretty, curly. Curly, curly, curly. Beautiful. put a lot on the bottom because we're facing the curls going up right here on the second and third bar okay so the bottom I just go around like once on each little because there's four sections once on each four sections so but you can do it as much as you want whatever you want it to look like even add so we may add a couple pieces if we want we'll see I don't think it needs it personally we'll take one and top Thank you. 
Beautiful. And you don't need two frames to do that. How about that? A lot of people use two frames. I don't need two frames. I keep using one. There you go. Under. Crisscross it. You have one going down, one going over. You're curling them around the bar, around the mesh. We will be doing this method on a couple other projects we have. So you can see the different ways it looks with different types of mesh as well. Because each mesh looks different. It's really cute. So I like it. Let's go ahead and get the other side right here. I have to cut, up, cut maybe a couple more pieces, not many. Under the bar. pieces together. I like to shape mine before I tighten it all the way. This is a cable tie gun. You can get it from Amazon. Walmart is $13.49. Mine is Pro Kit. It's $18. I got mine on Amazon or Walmart.com. Just placing it on, fluffing it out. Then you'll go through it and add, like I see a little bare spot over there I wanna get. So I'm gonna go over there and add more. Mm, but this is not hard to do. Cute, cute method. Everybody had a great week. I'm put it to the side on the second bar, and then I'm going to put one 
on the top there. I'm filling it in. So you're, all you're doing is you're taking it, placing it up, taking it, placing it sideways, and just adding around it. It's a curly method. See? Not hard to do. I'm going to take one and place it going up. And I have a spot there and a spot here I want to cover. And look at that. Now we get to add the decor to it. Not a long project. How about that? And it's fun. Flat side in. Sorry. Flat side in with the zip ties at all times. Zip ties are a lot neater, cleaner, and easier for people that have arthritis in their hands. So I'm going to put this right here. So you can add more. I think I'm going to add a couple more pieces. This was about 18, 20 pieces, honestly. I think we're going to add like three or four more pieces. It would be like 24, 25 pieces. Because I want to add one here and here. So let's cut up some more. use more rocks than that. I'm used to using more than that, to be honest. These are 10 inch cups. Got two pieces. Let's grab two more to be on this other side. So about 25 pieces. Like I said, you can do this in about 20, so you don't actually need this. I still have a little bit left for another project. You could use the whole roll if you want, but remember you have, if you're going to add a ribbon to it or anything like that, then you're not going to need all this. curlies going up and to the side. Alright, that's how you fill it in. I'm 
facing the curl going up. So you're going to alternate this to fill it up and make it that curly Q style. There we go. How about that? Nice, cute, and full. Okay, so with this, you can take your cable ties. We're going to have to let this dry, so we'll be adding some stuff to it before you put the top on it. I'm going to take two of them. They have adhesive on the back. I'll get these on Amazon too. They're stickies. For your cable mounts. I'm going to take one on each side. I have been doing this from the beginning. I take floral wire and I hot glue mine so it doesn't melt off. Summer heat will make it melt right off, especially if it's on wood. So you want to make sure that you get some hot glue on it because it melts the zip tip, it melts the cable mount, it melts your floral wire all the way down to the base. Okay. It's a fun project. Take some hot glue. I was going to do one yesterday, but honestly, guys, I wasn't feeling well. I have that brain tumor. And some days are good, and some days I just don't feel good. And yesterday was one of those days. So. All right, so while that's drying, let me keep this upward while it dries. You can take any type of ribbon. These actually came from Dollar Tree. They got some in, which I'm not going to use those. Ink. This came from Hobby Lobby. All you do is you just go in here and you're going to poof it going all the way around your second bar and you can go over a piece of curl already on here that has a zip tie on it. You do not have to find a bar. You can go over zip tie over zip tie. So around the second bar that's already there in case you're wondering. Okay, I want it to curl to the side. Scissors, cut zip ties, ribbon, and mesh Lowe's, ten dollars. They are the Lowe's brand. They are not Joann's brand. Let someone get upset because they bought a different brand and it didn't work like mine. 
So again, those are Lowe's. They're orange and black. Online and in stores, you can get it. Ten dollars. This ribbon is from Hobby Lobby, and I believe they have a 50% off on some of their stuff. They're alternating their weeks right now. Um, one week is floral, one week is ribbon and mesh. Um, and you can get the 50% online too, and shipping is not that bad. So I was very pleased, because as you know, I don't live next to Hobby Lobby. So you can buy it online. Because I went on and looked. So I was very happy to see that they were doing sales online. Is $7 and it's 50% off right now, $7.99. So not bad, guys. Not bad. This is already dry. So we can place it in the center. Doesn't take long for it to dry. Take it. One, two, three, two sides. Here we go. And just go around the bars underneath with the wires. Underneath, so in case anyone's wondering, 
do not have to cover this, I would spray it. Because it's going on a table, it's not going on a wall. So but I would spray it. And we'll go over that. Put some streamers going on this. If you want to make it more fancier, you can put stars, you can put flowers. This is a party top, so I have some flowers out. I don't think I can do that. So I'm going to take the foamies and some stars. And all this came from Hobby Lobby as well. I've used their stuff a lot. <laughs> A real lot. I'm take those. Take some of these stars. And we're gonna just start gluing them on. See how easy this is? It's a celebration piece, so it's for a table. That is hot. So. Some decor. So you trim your little straggles and then we're going to go over spraying. There's not a lot at all. Not a lot. So you don't have a lot to do. But I still trim mine. I like to go through mine, trim it up. That's me. doesn't take much at all. Oops. I had some stars too. I'm going to put that right there. Mm -hmm. Some blue over here. Take a picture of this for everybody to see in just a second. I'll move the camera so everybody can see it close up. Take these. These are like, they're kind of like foamies. You just take the sticky part off of it. Add a little bit of glue. And it sticks right on. Don't overload it. You just need a little bit. Not a lot. We all like to picnic in the summer. I know I like to take my kids out to the park and stuff. Usually on the 4th of July, like this year, I actually will be at a festival selling my reefs. But I do it every year. But then the kids meet me out and we watch the fireworks and go eat. So, but it's one of my biggest festivals. Right now is the time you do want to sign up for your local festivals. You can look them up in your area, state, and town on Facebook and put it your state and put your state where you live at and put your town and put in local festivals. 
there'll be a vendor application for those that want to go and sell the reefs at the festivals. I've been getting a lot of questions about it, so I do want it. I did want to tell you that. So every town has one. All you got to do is look it up, and as long as you have your EIN, you can participate as a local vendor. EIN for federal is free for state. You have to pay everything you can do online and you can print your number right up. Um, every three months you're supposed to do your taxes online. Just You do your um, federal and then at the end of the year you'll do your state taxes. Make sure you keep a receipt of all your supplies. Everything is a write-off, okay? So I've been getting a lot of questions, so I did want to get that out there. There we go. I'm going to take a couple of these little stickers, little foamy stickers. All right. We are just about done, everyone. This is quick, easy, fun. Any cute little piece you can take to your 4th of July, your picnics, celebration piece. It's easy. It's not hard to do. So this will be a fun, easy project for everyone. I'm going to add a few more stars. Let's go over what's next. So you do want to go through this. Take your scissors or your scissors and go through, trim up your little pieces. There's not a lot. Cut everything in front of you so you can see it. Okay, as far as your spider webs, you know you can use the heating tool or the blow dryer to get rid of the spider webs on this. Okay. As far as spraying it, We use our E6000. Spray it twice. You can spray it even on your ribbon. Don't spray it a lot. Just a little bit. You can get this at your local Walmart. Okay. It's a spritz. Take get outside to spray it. Not in the house. Um, use your Mod Podge. They have them um, flat and a matte. Spray this. It goes on ribbon. It goes on everything. It's an acrylic sealer. It's going to seal that mesh and it's going to help it from fraying. Local Walmart. So I was really happy. I'm trying to find products that everybody can use that we can get at our local Walmart. Not everybody lives in a big town where we can go to Hobby Lobby or anything else. So a lot of my stuff I do is online and from my beautiful and wonderful subscribers that is my family they send me a lot of stuff too they've been wonderful to me so um i'm gonna go ahead and just add a couple little pieces on this took the camera and you know what we don't have to do that do it right here here's your centerpiece centerpiece nice cute all right, that's your nice centerpiece for your table. Really cute. Like I said, add. As you see, I need to add a little more pieces to it. All right, like, share, subscribe, everybody. I will see you in a few minutes. I'm going to clean this up because I do want to do the bird. We're going to do another curly cute style of wreath. I do want to go get a picture of this so everybody can see it. This is a cute, cute little piece. Like I said, it's something you can make for your 4th of July festivities. And also, for all my people that are doing um, the festivals like I do and craft shows, this is a good piece to show your patriotism and to brighten up everybody's, you know, we're celebrating the 4th of July. This is a cute little table piece you can have out on your table. All right. 
just to celebrate and to give your table a cute little look. I love it. I do need to add a few more stickers, little stars. Like I said, here's my stars. <laughs> this side's kind of plain, so right here I need to focus on. So like, share, subscribe, everybody. I'll see you in a few minutes.